Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you, Ellie. How are you? Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Why? So because today is the last day. <laughs> and, yes. <laughs> yeah. And finally. Finally, I I'm going to sleep um later. <laughs> Another <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Very good. Yes, finally we 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 finish it. We finish the the class. You see, so today is the last class. Um, I don't know if you if you have any comments, any doubts, any question about the platform or anything. So just only about a section in the platform. Mm -hmm. So it was about the carnival for on Rio de Janeiro and just like that. Mm -hmm. So I was putting the answer, all the answers in the platform, but um, they the platform didn't recognize anything about. It was like all bad, all bad, all bad. <laughs> all of them were incorrect. Yeah. yeah, for that reason, but it's the last, the unique part, um, and I have many problems with that. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, but it's. It was the last section, section five, or the final exam? Uh, I don't know. I know. I don't know. I think that is the third section. Oh, just like that. But so it was it is about... because I have, I have, I had so many issues with my cell phone today, and it is in the, well, it is it's fixing right now. I have to left my cell phone in the local to repair, and for that reason. And right now I'm just only with my computer and it's like um I cannot find it but uh um I, I was watching that with um a eighty percent you can mm -hmm. pass all the and I have the ninety ninety four just like that it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh okay, yeah. okay, yes, exactly, exactly. That's correct. You can Pass with the 80%, con 80% de lo que hagan y la asistencia, con eso pasan, exacto. Pero vamos, voy a ver, I will check right now if, you, if we can report, right? Because ya reporté algo de lo que me dijeron el grupo anterior, de que no se miraba una cosa, que no podían responder. Entonces, uh, tal vez voy a reportar esto también. Solo voy a ver si... Sí, porque yo intenté con todas las respuestas con la parte del carnaval y no, no daba. No sé si a alguno de mis compañeros le pasó lo mismo. Pero sí, o sea, todo lo que tenía que ver con el carnaval de Río de Janeiro no me aceptaba las respuestas que estaba poniendo. Mm, ok, ok. Voy a ver eso. Uh -huh. eh, pero no sé cuál es, si, porque aquí tengo, quiero ver la, 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 la plataforma, aquí la tengo. Y no sé si es la de, aquí tengo Job Hunting. No, eso no era, teacher, era una sobre carnaval, pero no sé si estaba en la tercera o en la segunda, no sé. Mm, yes. Uh -huh. Entonces sí, fue por eso, porque, ajá, no, ajá, esa, let's, let's celebrate, let's esa. Celebrate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Con esa yo tuve un tantito de problemas, no sé si los demás los hayan tenido también. Okay. Y como a un celular se le ocurrió arruinarse hoy. <risa> Okay, I will report that. I will report that. Uh, thank you for being here, Tanya, Christian, Irma. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, did you have any problem with the platform? Tuvieron algún problema con la plataforma? O todo está bien? Porque ahí eh, Elida me estaba diciendo de que tuvo algún problema con eh, las respuestas del carnaval. Que ella ponía... Parece que era esta, ¿verdad? Entonces ponía cualquiera. Y no. No, teacher, no. era un audio el que estaba y había que escribir sobre. Ajá. Este. This one. Mm. El mismo ejercicio ajá. que me ayudó a mí, creo. Sí, 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 ese mismo. Mm. Entonces yo, ajá. Ahí fue donde tuve problemas porque no me aceptaba. Primero yo puse para a party y todo eso y no me lo aceptaba. Uh -huh. Pero no sé, o sea, si habría algo malo con. O quizás porque no le estaba poniendo el punto, posiblemente eso. Uh 
Eso, debe eso como pasó a mí porque lo, así lo puse como me dijo el teacher y me parecía todo mal. Yo si que... pudiera tomarle captura a teacher y mandarlo al grupo, por favor. Es que ahorita sí. lo haría yo, pero este <risa> la tecnología me abruma con mi computadora. <risa> Oye, les voy a mandar en este momento, son intermedio dos, ¿verdad? Quiero ver. Sí, quiero pensar. Solo voy a mandar la captura. Este no era básico uno, yo no recuerdo haberme inscrito. <risa> básico uno. No, es <risa> intermediate, let's see. Ah, bueno, entonces me equivoqué. Ups. Sí, pero ahí ahorita lo voy a mandar para que si tienen algún problema con ese, pues lo puedan hacer. Porque sí, a veces es que la respuesta está correcta, pero falta el punto o no son las palabras. Por ejemplo, aquí four days. It's con, es con letras, ¿verdad? Four days. Y aquí, it's a dance, ¿verdad? What is the samba? Y si ponemos más información, nos va a tomar como malo, ¿verdad? Entonces, tiene que ser como bien específico. Es problema de, de quien hizo las, las respuestas, pero creo que eso sí, también yo lo, lo de, What is a carnival? Yo sabía, it's a party. O sea, no me la agarraba. De ahí le entendí. Este, it's a party que por tanto tiempo es determinado. Tampoco me lo agarraba. Y yo, bueno, <risa> esta cosa me odia. Yes, exactly. It's complicated. Así hay varias cosas, varias respuestas que a veces hay que intentar. A veces a mí me dicen, no, teacher, es, es con esta letra o le tiene que poner así, lo tiene que poner sin punto. Pero I'm sorry, I'm sorry for that. Estamos tratando de reportar todo eso para ver si cambian todo esto de la plataforma. But thank you for being here. Anyways, hoy, como le decía a Eli, eh, hoy es la última clase. Así que hoy terminamos. Por eso les estaba preguntando de la plataforma para que ustedes no tuvieran eh, problemas con el 80% de las actividades ustedes ya tienen, obtienen su diploma así que hoy solo vamos a repasar ¿verdad? solo vamos a ya lo último eh, como as we were standing before como estamos viendo en las clases pasadas, en las anteriores estamos viendo traits, personality traits para personas que, que quieren aplicar para un empleo etcétera, right? For example, we had creative, we have um, impatient, critical, level-headed, right? Disorganized, moody, efficient, uh, punctual, forgetful, reliable, generous, short-tempered, uh, hard-working, strict, y esas eran todas, ¿verdad? Entonces, había unas que eran positivas y otras eran negativas, ¿verdad? Dependiendo de lo que eh, viéramos, ¿verdad? Entonces, algunas las teníamos bien eh, como para, como eh, adjectives o personality traits que nos podrían eh, beneficiar, ¿verdad? So, uh, disorganized, uh, and we have the opposite, right? Efficient, disorganized, friendly, unfriendly. Hardworking, lazy, interesting, boring, level-headed, moody, right? Patient, impatient, quiet, outgoing, reliable, forgetful. Y aquí tenemos unas eh, oraciones que después las vamos a hacer si tenemos tiempo. Because we, I have some exercises here. So, uh, to review, we the vocabulary, we have this uh, test. Estaba buscando un test de carreras, pero los test de carreras son los que de verdad son de carreras para encontrar una como de, de vocación o de los que muestran las universidades en internet. Están en inglés y ustedes lo pueden tomar si quieren. Pueden poner en Google Career Test y ahí les puede salir de acuerdo a su personalidad, etc. Y este, hay, pero hay unos que son muy largos y, y por eso es que decidí hacer este mejor para que lo hiciéramos más rápido, ¿verdad? Entonces voy a compartir el link en el chat y ahí ustedes pueden, pueden darle clic y ahí pueden ustedes hacer este quiz, ¿verdad? This, it says, this 20 question ap ap aptitude test will reveal which five careers you're most suited for. Y vamos a ver, ¿verdad? Solo tenemos que, que contestar estas preguntas. For example, Which is your favorite, right? Sweet or savory? Pero solo podemos poner una, una respuesta para que nos dé una, una resolución. ¿verdad? So, who will give me the answers? ¿Quién me quiere dar las respuestas? Eli, Irma, Tania, or Christian? Christian. 
Y yo aquí las voy a escoger. Ah, teacher. Okay, Christian, you will give me the, your answers. So let's see. Which one do you prefer? Sweet or savory? Dulce or salado? Uh, uh, savory. Savory, okay, savory. Inside or outside? Uh, uh, inside. Inside, okay, inside. City or country? Country. Country, okay. Night, I'm sorry, day or night? Uh, night. Night, okay, let's see. Words or numbers? Uh, numbers. Numbers, okay. Stay in or go out? Mm, I stay in. Stay in. Truth or dare? Truth. Truth. Okay, let's see. Autumn or spring? Spring. Spring. Okay. Books or TV? TV. TV. Okay. Soup or salad? Soup. Soup, okay. All black or colorful? All black. All black. Halloween or Christmas? Halloween or Christmas, Christian? Christian, Halloween or Christmas? Can you hear me, <laughs> Christian? Well, he had some problems. So we're going to choose Christmas. I guess Christmas, that's what he will choose. Fruits or veggies, Christian, can you hear me? Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. No, we are uh, now I can sorry, hear you. Teacher, sorry. No problem. So sorry. have Halloween or Christmas, Christian? Uh, Christmas. Christmas. Okay. Fruits or veggies? Uh fruits. Fruits. And text or call. Um text. Text, okay. Simple or fancy foods? Uh, fancy food. Fancy food. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs, okay. Cold or hot drinks? Uh, cold. Cold, okay. Comfort or style? Comfort. Comfort. Past or future? Uh, future. Future, okay. Chocolate or fruity? Fruity. Fruity, okay. Let's see what, what is showing here for you, Christian. Recommended um, careers paths. Nurse, social worker, environmental oh, scientist, veterinarian or dentist have you thought about any of these professions careers um, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay so that is just a suggestion right nurse enfermero social worker trabajador social de las personas que yeah. ayudan a las a las personas en problemas yeah. environmental scientist científico del medio ambiente veterinarian veterinario Oh, dentista, sure. verdad? Dentist. Okay, very good. Uh, so those are your your careers according to this test, right? But you can test, you can take a real test. Pueden tomar un test de verdad de alguna universidad de los de, de United States, de los Estados Unidos, y ahí ya les va a salir algo más 
increíble, ¿verdad? But this, this is just like a short, like a short game that you can do, right? Uh, let's see here. So this is what we were, uh, we were talking about. We were talking about jobs, right? And let's see here. Also, um, we had either or neither. Agreeing with negative statement and using neither or either. So we have a little time right now. So we are going to do that, okay? It says, uh, vamos a, a, a estar de acuerdo, pero usando un statement negativo, ¿verdad? Con neither or either. Entonces, por ejemplo, el primero dice, Phil wouldn't like to help you. Right? Phil no le gustaría ayudarte. Y tenemos dos opciones para responder. They will, they will like to help, they would like to help you neither, or they wouldn't like to help you either. ¿Cuál es la correcta? Si yo digo, Phil wouldn't like to help you, they would like to help you neither, or they wouldn't like to help you either. ¿Cuál es la, la opción correcta para responder? ¿Tú? La segunda, they wouldn't like to help you either. This one. Ok, we're going to see. Vamos a escoger esa entonces. Ya, ya después vamos a revisar las respuestas. Number two. John doesn't speak English very well. ¿Cómo le responderíamos para estar de acuerdo o en desacuerdo, verdad? Maria doesn't speak English very well either. Or Maria doesn't speak English very well either. Uh, doesn't speak con ese, ¿verdad? Con ese aquí. Uh, so, Maria doesn't speak English very well, either. Okay. okay. Let's see. Number three. Doris was not born in USA. ¿Cómo le responderíamos? I wasn't either or neither I wasn't. Neither I wasn't. Neither I wasn't. Okay, let's see. Just going to choose that. Number four, Peter is not tall and handsome. It says, my boyfriend isn't either or my boyfriend doesn't either. ¿Cuál sería la correcta? My, my boyfriend doesn't either. My boyfriend doesn't either. Okay, let's see. Y la última. Sandra doesn't study an hour every day. Sandra no estudia una hora todos los días. You don't neither or neither does Rodrigo. ¿Cuál está correcta? You don't neither no, you or don't, neither. neither. You don't neither. Okay, let's see. Esto ya lo vimos anteriormente, ¿verdad? Los neither do I, so do I, so am I. So vamos a ver las respuestas, ¿ok? En la 1 dijeron que era they wouldn't like to help you either. Vamos a ver. Aquí está. Y la respuesta es they wouldn't like to help you either. Very good. They wouldn't like to help you either. No, te, no les gustaría ayudarte también. En la segunda... María doesn't speak English very well. Correcto, esa era, ¿verdad? Doris was not born in USA. I wasn't either, ¿verdad? Esa era la respuesta correcta. Ustedes dijeron, neither I wasn't. No, pero en negativo no se usa así como el, el, lo inverso, ¿verdad? Neither I was, tal vez. Pero Y además que cuando usamos neither no usamos el negativo, ¿verdad? Porque sería doble negación. Solo usamos una, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí, I wasn't either. Como pueden ver, aquí está wasn't. Eh, aquí estamos usando el negativo. Y también, ¿verdad? En, que, en este caso se traduciría como I wasn't either. Yo tampoco, ¿verdad? Doris no nació en los Estados Unidos. Yo tampoco. I wasn't either. Peter is not tall and handsome. My, bro, my, my boyfriend isn't either. Y aquí es isn't porque aquí estamos utan, utilizando isn't, ¿verdad? Peter is. 
my boyfriend isn't, ¿verdad? Peter is not, my boyfriend is not. Y Sandra doesn't study an hour every day, neither does Rodrigo, ¿verdad? Neither does, tampoco Rodrigo, ¿verdad? You don't neither, aquí no lo utilizamos porque es doble negación, por eso es que no lo utilizamos. Aquí el inverso sí lo podemos utilizar, pero la no, aquí está como negándolo doblemente, es como que yo dijera en español, yo, es que en, en, en español no sé cómo se traduciría, yo tampoco, yo tampoco no, algo así, ¿verdad? Yo tampoco no. Entonces, es, se oye raro, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo tampoco, ¿verdad? Nada más, ya estamos, no, no necesitamos decir otra vez no. Yo tampoco no, ¿verdad? O yo también sí. No decimos así, yo también, dice uno. O yo tampoco, solo así, ¿verdad? Pero no decimos yo tampoco no, ¿verdad? Entonces, así es como está aquí. You, you don't neither. Estamos usando dos, dos negaciones. En cambio, aquí solo una, ¿verdad? Neither does Rodrigo. Ni Rodrigo, ¿verdad? Very good. Let's see the next one. No lo vamos a hacer todos porque son bastantes, pero yo les voy a compartir esta diapositiva por si ustedes quieren repasar. Yo se la voy a compartir en el grupo. Al final de la clase, al final de la clase. So, with to and so, agreeing with affirmative statement. Vale, vamos a hacer lo mismo, solo que ahora con to and so. For example, number one, Ned did his homework before going out to play. So did everyone else. To did everyone else. ¿Cuál es la correcta? So did everyone else or to did everyone else? This one? So, so did everyone else. Exactly, very good, let's see. Number two, Sandra studies an hour every day. Do I do or I do too? ¿Cuál de las dos? Do I do or I do too? I do too? Yes? I do too. I do yes. too. Okay, perfect. Number three, Susan will stay home this weekend. I'll stay home too, or I'll stay home so too. I stay home too. Okay, let's see. Maria, number four, right? Maria can play the guitar. My father do too, or my father can too. My father can too. Let's see. And Betty looks terrible. I look too, or I do too. I look too. I look too. Sí, vamos a ver. Very good. So, uh, la primera, ustedes eligieron, so did everyone else. Let's see. Yes, correct. So did everyone else. Ned, this is homework before going out to play. So did everyone else. También todos los demás, ¿verdad? Very good. En la segunda, dijeron que era I do too. Y correcto, es I do too. Sandra studies an hour every day. I do too. Sandra estudia una hora todos los días. Yo también. ¿Cómo digo yo también? I do too. La número tres. Susan will stay home this weekend. La respuesta era, I'll stay home too. Y ustedes eligieron, I'll stay home too. Very good. Perfect. Cuatro. María can play the guitar. My father can too. Ok. Y ustedes eligieron, my father can too. Very good. Y la última. Betty looks terrible. I look too. I do too es la respuesta correcta. I do too. I do too. Perfect. So, uh, y así practicando, ustedes van a ir, pues, eh, mejorando. You, if you practice, you will get better in this. And let's see, I think we have one more. Tenemos una más. Con disagreeing with previous affirmative or negative statements. Por ejemplo, ahora vamos a... 
a, a disagree, ¿verdad? A no estar de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si en la primera dice, Betty doesn't look terrible, Betty no, no se ve terrible, yo le voy a decir que sí, ¿verdad? Sí se mira terrible. Entonces, aquí me, yo le voy a decir lo contrario, vamos a estar en desacuerdo. Pero, ¿cómo se dice, verdad? ¿Cuál es la manera correcta? What is the correct way to say that? Number one, Betty doesn't look terrible. Yes, she does, or yes, so does she. Yes, she does. Okay, let's see. Number two, Phil would love to help you. Sorry, I wouldn't or I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Let's see. Number three, number three, Susan will not stay home this weekend. I will. I want to rest or I won't. I don't want to rest. Recuerden que es estar en desacuerdo, ¿verdad? O sea, que no vamos a decir como medio lo opuesto. Susan will not stay home this weekend. I will, I want to rest, or I won't, I don't want to rest. I will, I want to rest. Okay, very good. Let's see. Number four. Steve doesn't use the computer a lot. Well, I do, or I don't either. Well, I do. Well, I do. Let's see. Y la última, I love Italian food. Really? I hate it. Or, really, I don't like it either. Really, I hate it. Okay, let's see. En la primera dijeron, yes, she does. Right, Betty doesn't look terrible. Yes, she does. And la respuesta era... Yes, she does, exactly. Yes, she does. Yes, so does she. No, right. Yes, she does. En la segunda, Phil would love to help you. Sorry, I wouldn't, right? Esa era la respuesta. Ustedes eligieron, I wouldn't uh, either, right? So, esa era la respuesta correcta. Sorry, I wouldn't. La número tres, ustedes eligieron, I will, I want to rest. Y era... I will, I want to rest. Perfect. Four, Steve doesn't use the computer a lot. Well, I do. Correct. That was the re response, right? Well, I do. And the last one, la última. I love Italian food. Really? I hate it. Very good. Así podemos estar en desacuerdo, ¿verdad? Really? I hate it, right? Very good. Perfect. So, uh, today we are going, let's see here. Ah, we are going to check a little bit of grammar before I forget. Estas son clauses con because. ¿Qué significa because? ¿Qué significa? What is the meaning of because? ¿Por qué? Porque, exactly. Para dar una razón, ¿verdad? So, uh, the word because introduces a cause or a reason. Aquí vamos a presentar una causa o una razón. For example, I make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Yo soy un buen periodista porque soy bueno escribiendo, ¿verdad? I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. Podría ser maestro porque soy muy creativo, right? I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. No quisiera ser maestro porque soy muy impaciente. Y la última, I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions quickly. So, uh, a stockbroker, what is the meaning of stockbroker? Who knows? Es de la bolsa, ¿verdad? Es un corredor de bolsa, ¿verdad? Es corredor, eh, eso, that, that profession doesn't exist here uh, because we don't have, uh, we do, but just online, right? But a stockbroker is more, more international, like in the United States, probably you can find more stockbrokers, más corredores de bolsa. 
So I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions quickly porque no puedo hacer las decisiones rápidamente. Y aquí tenemos ejemplos. We have examples here, right? For example, I like to be a physical therapist, terapeuta físico. Me gustaría, ¿verdad? I like to. I like to be a physical therapist because what is the response for this? A, B, C, D, E, or F? because I enjoy helping people. Very good, yes, because I enjoy helping people. Very good. Number two, I would like make, I would make a bad librarian. Sería un mal biblio, la persona que trabaja en la biblioteca. Exactly, bad, uh, bad librarian. What is the response for that? A letter A, because I'm very disorganized. Because I'm very disorganized. Yeah, probably. Yes. Number three, I couldn't be a diplomat. Because? No. No podría ser diplomático. ¿Por qué? I couldn't be a diplomat. Because I'm short-tempered. Exactly. Because I'm short-tempered. They have to be polite. They have to smile to everyone. So probably that 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 would be that wouldn't be a, like a, a trade right from for a diplomat. Yeah. Four, I wouldn't mind working as a veterinarian because I love animals. Exactly. I love animals. Perfect. Five, I could be a flight attendant because. I really enjoy traveling. I really enjoy traveling. Y la última, I could never be a financial advisor because... I'm not good at manage, managing money. <laughs> exactly. I'm not good at managing money. Exactly. So, esas son uh, como usamos las because, right? Las clauses with because. And these are more examples. I guess that we already did this. But you can check it later. And um, this is a listening... Esto les va a ayudar para hacer el último role play que vamos a hacer hoy. Solo voy a explicar esto y vamos a hacer un review. Y ya, ok. Let me see here. This is a listening. And it says, what do you want to do? And it's talking about, uh, I think, two people. And they are explaining why they will be good at or not to different um, jobs, right? Ahí van a explicar ellos por qué son buenos o por qué no serían buenos en algún trabajo. So what you have to do is just to listen and just to check the, the, the jobs, right? And the reason why they will be good at or not. It says Michelle and Robbie, right? So the job that they will be good at and the reason why. Me van a decir a qué, qué empleo estarían bien o estarían buenos para ellos. Y la razón, la, la por qué, ¿verdad? So, let's see. I think it is here. Okay, let's listen to it. Into 10, progress check. Page 71, exercise 3. Listening. What do you want to do? Part A. Listen to Michelle and Robbie discuss four jobs. Write down the jobs and check if they would be good or bad at them. 1. Michelle I don't know what classes to take this semester. I can't decide what I want to do with my life. Have you thought about it, Michelle? A little bit. My history professor says I should think about a career in politics, but I don't think I'd make a good politician. Why not? Oh, you know me. I'm not good at working with other people. I'm too moody, and politicians have to work with people all the time. That's true. So what do you think you want to do? Well, honestly, I think I'd make a good computer engineer. Oh, you would. You've always helped me with my computer problems. I love solving problems and making new things. Plus, then I'd get to work alone a lot. 2. Robbie That reminds me of a problem I'm having. What is it? You know my parents have a restaurant, right? 
Well, my father wants me to be the manager. And you don't want to? No way. Restaurant managers have to manage other people. I'd be terrible. I'm too disorganized. So what do you want to do? Well, I think I could be a good teacher. I like working with kids, and I'm pretty patient. That's true. And you're very hardworking. Okay. Uh, do you have the responses? ¿Tienen las respuestas? Or do you want to listen to it again? Uh, one more time, please, sir. <laughs> okay, no problem. I will activate the subtitles, okay? So you can uh, read what you're listening to. Let's see okay. the second time. Page 71, exercise three, part B. Listen again, write down the reasons they give. One, Michelle. I don't know what classes to take this semester. I can't decide what I wanna do with my life. Have you thought about it, Michelle? A little bit. My history professor says I should think about a career in politics, but I don't think I'd make a good politician. Why not? Oh, you know me. I'm not good at working with other people. I'm too moody, and politicians have to work with people all the time. That's true. So what do you think you want to do? Well, honestly, I think I'd make a good computer engineer. Oh, you would. You've always helped me with my computer problems. I love solving problems and making new things. Plus, then I'd get to work alone a lot. Two, Robbie. That reminds me of a problem I'm having. What is it? You know my parents have a restaurant, right? Well, my father wants me to be the manager. And you don't want to? No way. Restaurant managers have to manage other people. I'd be terrible. I'm too disorganized. So what do you want to do? Well, I think I could be a good teacher. I like working with kids, and I'm pretty patient. That's true. And you're very hardworking. Okay, perfect. Now we have the answers, right? So we have Michelle. What was uh, her job? That is something that she will be good at. Computer engineer. Computer engineer and bad? So poli politics, yes, like that. It's like a politician. It's a politician, right? Politician. Pol politician, yeah, politician, yeah. Okay, and she will be good, uh, a good computer engineer because? Uh, she loves work alone, and she's so good at uh, solving computer issues. Exactly, exactly. Very good. And now with Robbie, uh, she he will be good at what work? As a teacher. As a teacher, and who he will be good and uh, he will be bad at what? As a manager of the restaurant. A restaurant manager, exactly. And and why he thinks he will be good teacher? He will be a good teacher. So because he loves kids and he loves, he is a hardworking and he's. Pretty patient. Exactly. He likes to work with kids and he's really patient. Perfect. Very good. So those would be the jobs that they were talking about. And we can also think about jobs we are good at or we are not good at. Um, but we have to try, right, to know. So what we are going to do is uh, to use the clauses with because, right? For example, I could be a good teacher because I am very patient. as um, the audio says, right, Robbie said, I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I hate hospitals, right? I like to be a tour guide because I love meeting people because you need to work with a lot of people and speak to them, right? So uh, it's almost like that. Right? It's almost like an if clause here. Eh, aquí está la fórmula para que ustedes puedan utilizarla. El subject más el could, el would. Yo uh, sería o yo podría, ¿verdad? Después el verbo make, work, or be. And complement, a good chef, uh, etc. And then because, vemos la razón por qué, ¿verdad? Because, subject plus verb plus complement. Let's see, Tania, can you read the sentences, please, Tania? 
Yes. Okay, perfect. Mm, let's Sorry. have mm, class with cows ignotical situation. So, the uh, club of wool, mm -hmm. the class bear, class complement because the club suit, the class bear, the class complement. Mm -hmm. I will the may. Abu Chef, because I love cooking for my friends. Mm -hmm. I call the work with kids because I am too impatient. Mm -hmm. I, won't be, I won't be a good father because I am the king's all irresponsible. Mm -hmm. Sam could be an excellent doctor because she enjoy helping others. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Tanya. So uh, we have some examples, right? Where Sam could be an excellent doctor because she enjoys helping others. And I could make a good chef is is uh, similar to I could be a good chef. Uh, es similar, la frase, ¿verdad? I could make a good chef or I could be a good, good chef. It's, just, it's, it's the same. And uh, we have here another thing, right? Perspectives, right? Aquí las personas dicen, ¿Por qué serían buenas a ese trabajo, verdad? So we are going to listen to them, pero uh, solo lo vamos a escuchar. Let's see here. Unit 10. I think it would be fun to design people's home. Three. Edward, her personality. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents, and she's so helpful with her time. Let me find it here. I don't know. I don't know if it is. It should be here. So we can read them, teacher. We can read them. Okay. It's better. Yeah. Yes, because I thought it was it was going to be here. Let's per perspectives, right? But we are going to to read it. Okay, um, Ellie, can you read Paola, please? What she says. Okay, okay. So. Okay. Let me see, pa Paola. Well, I think I may a good journalist because I'm good at greeting. When I was in high school, I worked as a reporter for the school website. I really enjoy reading different kinds of articles. Very good. So she's talking about that she will make a good journalist, right? Because she's good at writing, right? And uh, she was in high school and she was a reporter, etc. Right? Very good. So Sean, let's see who wants to read Sean. ¿Quién quiere leer lo de Sean? So me, teacher. Nobody okay, go to ahead. Fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ellie, go ahead. So I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market, but I could never be a stock broker because I can make decisions quickly. I don't mind working hard, but I am terrible under pressure. Very good. Thank you. So he said that he wouldn't like to be a stockbroker like um, Corredor de Bolsa, right? Because he make uh, he can make quick decisions, right? And he's really terrible under pressure. So some people, they don't work very well under pressure, bajo presión. And the last one, Dahlia. Okay, go ahead, Christian. Uh, okay. I am, I am still in a, in a school. My parents want me to be a teacher, but I am not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I am very creative. And I am also very important. So maybe I show work with kids. Exactly. Very good. So their parents, they want her to be a teacher, right? Because she's very creative, uh, but she's very impatient, right? So probably she could be a teacher, probably not. 
So what, that's what we are going to do right now. Vamos a utilizar las because, right? Clauses. Because I am patient, because I am, and we are going to use these, um, these uh, traits, right? Personality traits, because I am forgetful, right? Or because I am reliable, right? Um, we're going to talk about jobs. As I remember, yesterday I asked you to do like your personal job profile. Si lo hicieron bien, si no también, vamos a, a tratar de desarrollarlo. Y en esta actividad, we are going to prepare a conversation, ¿ok? Una conversación, la última ya de, de este módulo. So, una persona va a entrevistar a otra persona. Una persona le va a decir, ok, por ejemplo, Tania, tell me, do you enjoy helping people? Do you have any social skills? Do you like to work alone? Or do you like technology? Y eh, va a aplicar como para un empleo, por ejemplo, para ser eh, chef. Y, y nada más eh, usen frases cortas como, Yes, I could be a good chef or I could be a good teacher because I'm very patient and I like to help people and I'm very patient with kids and I like to teach people, right? So traten de formar una oración o, uh, así corta o una conversación corta y al final ustedes van a decir si le dan el trabajo o no le dan el trabajo a la persona que están entrevistando. Entonces, ahí pónganse de acuerdo entre los dos. Voy a abrir eh, las, los rooms. Y si se pueden unir y practicar, that will be perfect, ¿ok? So, let me see here. Y mientras tanto, también les voy a compartir esta presentación, ¿verdad? Mientras ustedes están creando la conversación. So, solo le voy a tomar un screenshot a esto para mandárselo al grupo también a ustedes para que lo puedan hacer en este momento. So, you can do it right now and you wouldn't have any, any problem. Ahí lo van a tener en el grupo de WhatsApp. So, you can check it. I will give you 10 minutes and after that, we are going to practice the conversation, okay? Let's see here. So we will have five, three, two, let's see. Marvin, Ellie, Kristen, Tania, okay. Entonces solo vamos a tener dos salas, una con dos personas y otra con tres. Let's see here. Okay, you can join the rooms. Pueden ir a los rooms y empiezan a crear la conversación. Solo tienen a más o menos unos siete minutos. Así que hagan la cortita. Make it short, okay?
job do you want to apply for? O sea, ¿qué trabajo quisiera aplicar? Ajá. Ajá. Ah, ok. Ajá, sí, así. Apply. Y, y, qué, y este, ¿qué trabajo están ofreciendo? <ríe> eh, por ejemplo, sería un asesor de ventas, digo yo. De sales person. Ajá. Ve, pongámosle pues, de sales person. Sales person. Eh, computer engineer. engineer. Ah, podemos ponerle así. Y sales person and computer engineer. Vaya, um, eh, la siguiente pregunta sería: eh, what, uh, Do you have any social skills? Ajá, esa sería la otra. Y si somos tres, ¿cómo sería la? ¿Quién, quién, quién con quién? Ahí <ríe> ya vamos a ver a quiénes nos toca. Solo hagamos Bye. la conversación y ahí. Va, está bien. Ahí está preguntando si tiene habilidades, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí. Eh, pongámosle yes. Pero se preguntarían sí. esas mismas preguntas, ¿no? Sí, yo creo que por eso las puso el ticho. Ah, ok. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo le pondríamos? Ah, yes, my skill are creative. Powerful, efficient. Eh, también podría ser. Hay. I work in, I like working in team. ¿Qué está diciendo ahí? <laughs> Me gusta I trabajar en equipo. I, I, I like working team. Me gusta trabajar en equipo. It is necessary. I can do it. Um, it's, it's like a... Mm. You all the time have to be in um I don't know a time uh, a deep connection with your co-workers. So and I consider mm -hmm. that that is too necessary. A healthy environment of in the job is very necessary. And any social skills, so I consider that love loving with people in Making out jobs in the office, it could be a great environment for everyone. Okay, so uh, do you like to work alone? So, <laughs> so definitely, but I cannot problem to work on team. So from, from my point of view, I consider that you have to be accessible. Yeah, it depends if you want to work alone, but sometimes, so I consider mm -hmm. that I can make both of them without a problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's like one question. Do you like the technology? Um. Well, I really like technology. So it is because I consider that we are in in twenty twenty three, and we are um advanced to the future. And technology is too necessary. It, it, it is not, it's not depends do you like and no, or no like.
Okay, welcome back. Thank you for being here. And now we are going to practice the conversation, right? Short conversations, conversaciones las que hicieron. Cortas, let's see, we have Christian, we have Irma. Let's see who else. Marvin, Ellie. Hi. Hello, sir. How it's going on? Okay, so let's go into practice a conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, who wants to My begin? partner, my classmate partner, my do. So <laughs> Marvin, he what's Marvin? Okay. Let's practice a conversation first with Ellie and Marvin, okay? Go ahead, please. Okay. Um Good morning. Hi, Ellie. Hi, hello. How is going on? Mm -hmm. uh, how about you today? Uh, excuse me? Can you repeat it again? I didn't catch up the last one. Uh, how about you today? Uh, yeah, uh, entrevista, huh? yeah, sure. We mm -hmm. are in the interview, interview <laughs> right now. So, well, I'm fine. What about you? Tell me. Okay. Uh, can you please tell me about yourself? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Well, well, I'm going to start saying my name is Elida, but all the words calls me Ellie. I don't know why. <laughs> and well, in personal, I would like to be called as Marcela because it's, it's a really rare measure about my name, but I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in my case, I am 28 years old. I'm going to start university this year and I'm going and I am working right now, but I need to improve my skills ability for that reason. I am applying in a job in your company right now. Okay. Uh, so I will tell you uh, some questions. Ah uh, yes, of course. You can make me some questions if you want. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, do you enjoy helping people? So I consider that it's part of the life, and I really enjoy helping people. Sometimes I consider that we we are humans beings and we have to support to someone else, making different kind of things about our nature or environment or people in this case. And yes, I really love helping people. Okay, it's good. So, um, do you have any social skills? So, I do not consider that talk with people, it could be any social skills. But in my case, I really adore make a conversation with, with the people in the supermarket, or work on team when I am in my class, I am talking all the time and the teacher is like, oh, you have to be quiet. <laughs> but it's because it's my personality and I consider that, I don't know if it's had any social skills, but I can tell you that about me. Okay. Uh, uh, do you like to work alone? If I can be honest with you, I really love work alone, but if I have the possibility to work on a team, <laughs> I can make both of them with facility because it's, it's about the capacity that you have to be able for something or someone, some, something else in your life. You have to be adapted to make things new. And that is the best experience that you could have or if you work alone or you you work with people, you have to be ready for both of them. Okay. So, do you like technology? <laughs> so, well, I do not consider that it depends you like or not like technology in this moment of my life. We are in 2023 and it is a tool is necessary. You don't have to use it if you don't want, but 
tokens is really necessary, for example, in a job. I can take my laptop all the time and see and watch a notice in or news in many countries that is in real time or read the newspaper here or take my take my cell phone and say, oh my goodness, what's happening in the world in this moment? It, it is a tool. And of course, I really like it, but so many people don't like you, doesn't like use a technology, but in this case, it's a tool and you have to use it. Okay. Uh, okay. So, okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Marvin. Very <laughs> good. Very good conversation. Very good interview. Okay. Would you give it the, the job, Marvin? La contrataría? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Cal Let's qualify. Qualify. She's really qualified. Qualify. Yes. <laughs> Very good. So let's see, Irma, Tanya, and Christian, did you have your conversation? Yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, good evening. Do you want to apply to this job? Mm -hmm. uh, good evening. My name is Irma Raquel. I apply for the engineer. Uh, do you have any social skill? Yes, my skills are creative, careful, and efficient. Okay. Uh, do you like to work alone? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, I like working team. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, what technologies does it know how to use? I use a cell phone computer because it's necess necessary for the work. Okay, thank you. Okay, Tanya, would you give her the, <laughs> the job or not? Uh, yes. yes, right. Yes. Happily. <laughs> yes, yes <I> happily. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Perfect. So we're going to finish the class right now. Uh, we uh, have uh, five minutes extra. But thank you for being here. Gracias por su compromiso, por estar aquí. Espero que hayan aprendido aunque sea un poquito. Y espero verlos después. Y si no, pues espero que sigan aprendiendo bastante inglés. Que lo pongan en práctica. Okay, so have a nice night and nice to meet you all. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, Mister. Thank you, Thanks for everything, <laughs> thank teacher. Thank you. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye. Bye.